coming up on a series premiere of Black Truck Combos with My Asia Simone. So if somebody try you on the internet right now, mm -hmm. drop a whole 16 mm -hmm. about you, mm -hmm. you not gonna snap back. <laughs> Damn. For my first record deal, it was like 250,000, I got 10,000. What? Yeah. So how did you find out? Like, how did you know that you weren't uh, getting all your money? <laughs> Would you be open to at least just trying to understand or hear what happened? Welcome to the very first episode of Black Truck Combos. I'm in the A, and you know my very first special guest is OJ the Juice Man. Hey, what it do, cuz? You already know we in the building right now. I'm finna do the Black Truck Convo, man. Zone 6 in the building, man. Tesco shout it, Sun Valley shout it, Boulder Crest shout it. We in this thing, we finna rock out. Let's go. All right, let's take a ride. Hey. <laughs> Hey, what it do? Black truck combo, man. We in the building, man. Black truck. Skr, skr. Yes, Look, sir, ski. So I want you to take me to three places. Let's it? do it. Let's do what, it. What makes you Atlanta? That's what I want to oh, know. Don't, don't, don't even tell me where, yeah. but we going to go. Let's do you ready? it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So, OJ the Juice Man. Yes, sir. Still popping. Your name's still ringing bells. What's the key to longevity? Because, I mean, we see you still out here. You still getting booked. Yes, sir. Uh... I don't know, cause it's hard to say. Like uh, the key to longevity, man. I guess uh, staying true to yourself, true to your music, uh, stand on your being about your music, uh, and I guess don't really take no SHIT. You know <laughs> Look, I already know you don't play. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite career moment? Like, you know, what was the most exciting? Point in your career where you felt like, man, I love this. I can do this forever. Man, it might, I probably got two of them. Okay. I want to say my my Kids record when we're working with Jada Kids shooting a video in New York and Yonkers. Okay. And then my Mariah Carey record. Mar Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Like I'm from Atlanta, but yeah. I didn't know you had a what song with Mariah Carey. It was Carey? Uh, the Hate You remix. Hate You remix. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Because I know was, Mariah is like yeah, oh, ten. Man, like what? you made but, it when you when you. Somewhere. And then uh, I got the crystal. She gave me a crystal bottle. Okay. So it was like that was when crystal was in all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was excited because you know I'm I'm a real music mm -hmm. head. Like I listen to a lot of music, like just yeah. not rap. You know what I'm saying? And for Mariah Carey, even JD Kid, because he a real bar spitter. Yeah. So for them kind of people to reach out and say they wanted to do a song with me, it was it was real dope for me. Bar spitter, I like where you, where you where you going with yeah. that. Give me your top three lyricists. Oh uh, man, my top three. <laughs> Woo. Jada. Okay. Cam. Mm hmm And DMX. You know what? I don't know why I thought you was gonna say Kendrick. You know, it's actually oh, no, that thing that's going on. Yeah, true. But I don't, I don't think I really like listen to Kendrick, Kendrick like that. People yeah. like that, like yeah. Wu Tang. Okay. I mean, I know they real deal bar spitters, but. Yeah. I, don't, I never really download. Maybe I need to download. They Who kinda... won that battle though? Drake or Kendrick? It's hard to say because both of <laughs> them, both of them going crazy. Like the, I want to say the newest one that I heard from Drake mm -hmm. on a mustard beat and the okay, beat hard. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. and the beat yeah. hard. But the one I just heard with Drake, mm -hmm. it like he had three different beat changes. Yeah. So his beats be hard too. So I don't know. It's hard to say. So when it comes to the rap beats, you know, like. And, and I feel like you had your own kind of rap beat, but it wasn't mm -hmm. really rap beat, it was more like family. And we'll mm -hmm. get into that later, but like, how do you feel about a rap beat? Do you feel like it like helps the career or makes it worse? Or like, what's your take on everything? Oh, um, it's hard to say, cause I ain't, I, I never endorsed the like the rap beef like, mm -hmm. like I'm not finna sit in the studio and make a whole diss record about me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if it, and then it's hard to say if I could do that or if I will do that. Like, I don't know because I never been put like in that situation. In that situation where you feel like you yeah, gotta, I gotta do it. Like these folks begging, they tell my boy you got to come back. Shout out to this by G. This. I, I ain't, I'm, I'm not sure. So if somebody try you on the internet right now, mm -hmm. drop a whole sixteen mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. You not gonna snap back. Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> mm. 
You, I mean, the whole world is gonna see it. It's Maybe gonna, depending it, on how the record is coming, mm -hmm. I might want to make a whole record. I just go live, like, hey, boy, who you got me fucked <laughs> yeah. up? Shit like that. That, that does yeah, feel like yeah. your personality. Yeah, like I'm, I don't know. It depends on how he came at me. Yeah. What kind of in, info he, he put out there? Like, oh boy, you used to pee in the bed when you were. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, if he really, if somebody fed <laughs> yeah. him some real yeah, information, yeah. then you might. Yeah. But you'll you'll like clap back before you actually get in the studio. Maybe I probably would go live. Go live and, and, me. and address Cause I'm it. old school. Yeah, yeah. But then I don't know, cause you, sometimes you make your best records when you mad. You, at, <laughs> you make you make the your, emotion is yeah, on there. Yeah, it is true. Now, 32 True. ENT, we see this chain wherever mm -hmm. you go. That's I'm actually telling. my favorite number. That was my, my uh, when I used to hoop in school. Oh, uh, damn, you play ball? Number. Yeah, I used uh, to play ball. See, I played football. Okay. Yeah, I okay. was a linebacker. I used to be bigger. I Wait, was like what? 208 pounds. No. Nah. Yeah, I was a linebacker back in school. I don't think I ever. You you don't have the old pictures? Uh, I probably. You gotta you gotta give me old pictures. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. I mean, this the new you. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 32 ENT. Like, talk about why you decided to start your own label, or was that already a thing before you even you know started working with Gucci and? All oh yeah, it was before. It was okay. before that. Like, I started 32 Entertainment back in. 04 maybe 05 okay it just come from me uh standing on boulder crest our motor bus you know the transit system mm -hmm. if you don't got a vehicle yeah <laughs> it was uh 32 boulder crest okay okay so by me uh standing at the bus stop all day but not trying to catch the bus yeah <laughs> i named my label 32 entertainment yeah. from watching marta come by like 30 40 times a day wow so you really everything that you do is really like real atlanta it's yeah. real like well, boulder crest yeah. well, well, let me Inside say atlanta, let yeah. me say look i'm ready for everybody so like where yeah. you from you really yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. So so what's your favorite part about Boulder Crest? Mm, probably the department, because they that's that's where I it it it, it, it taught me what I know. Yeah. Enjoyed of what I know right now. Boulder Crest showed me good or bad mm -hmm. and I took from it and implicated it my own way. Type. I know you were raised by a single mom. Mm -hmm. You know, what was life like growing up in that, you know, situation? Because I think it's kind of normal, you know, where we come from. But, you know, how was that experience for you? I mean, it was it was all right. I can't complain because it wasn't nothing I could do about it. But I did have my dad, you know what I'm saying? But my, my mama was, they was divorced. Dad in Tucker, Georgia. And I'm living with mama on Boulder Chris. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it was hard. Like, you know, we come from... Peanut butter off a spoon, poke beans and weenies. Yeah. Uh, day to day stuff, knock on your door. Cause the apartments where I'm from is is huge. It, mm -hmm. It's a huge subdivision. It got like five entryways. So yeah. we used to walk around, knock on the door to take your trash out for a dollar, or uh, like picking up the aluminum cans and turn them into the aluminum store and, wow. and make kind of. Three, but twenty dollars off a big bag of it. But that's why you felt like you had to get to the bag yeah, because yeah, yeah. I mean, so you we, you we come from swimming in the creek. Like we ain't have no swimming pool. We used yeah. to swim in the creek. Wow. You know the creek is sewer. There's a creek water. Of, oh, in, in the apartment. Oh yeah. wow! Really? <laughs> yeah, that was our swimming Man. pool. Was, it was, that motherfucker was deep too. Like lamb feet deep. So it's what like, advice could you give to you know someone else who is like growing up in the same situation but they want to make it out or they just don't see the vision mm -hmm. like they they want to get the vision they want to be something but because of their surroundings they don't even know where to start yeah depending on your age like we started young like we started at nine and ten mm -hmm. but depending on your age range you know it's i guess they call it poverty but you know and nothing you can do about it because yeah. you know you ain't making the money to pay the rent mm -hmm. So you can't say where you can stay at, you know what I'm saying? So I look at it as just, you know, your time coming, you just stay patient. You know, a lot of people jump off the porch and crash out early, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you, 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 with that mindset, you just got to be patient and kind of like wait your turn, but you don't even know that you waiting your turn. Yeah. You just got to avoid the hurdles and jump over mm -hmm. them. And, when the years pass, then you gonna, you know, see the light of which way you need to go or whatnot. Like, cause when I was starting out, we ain't, we ain't, I didn't know I was gonna rap. Yeah. I tried rapping head at the chain gang boot camp. So. Was that your first big check? Like from music? Oh yeah. 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 Like as far as in big check? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like your yeah. first big yeah, one where yeah. you like, right now I'm mm -hmm. gonna go, I want to travel the world. I want to go shop. Oh, but see, I, I ain't get to get, get that kind of check neither. Oh, okay. My so check, my check got took. Really? Yeah, I ain't get to see them. Wait, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean it got took? Like, uh, 
For my first record deal, it was like two hundred fifty thousand. I got ten thousand. What? Yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand. So ten. Like, okay, okay. Let's rewind. <laughs> so when it comes to it, and, and I'm trying to understand yeah. it without, you know, like when it yeah, comes yeah. to sitting down, signing your contract, coming up with an agreement, and saying, okay, this is what you're gonna get. This is like this is how it's gonna be distributed. Oh no, nah, it wasn't broke down to me like that. Nah, uh-uh. that's the new age. So I, I know that that was a situation where you said, was this the the. Deb Walker situation. With not Walker. I mean, Walker, not Walker. Yeah, but Deb. Yeah. With Deb. Yeah. So like, when that situation happened and you were just like basically saying like, hey, it wasn't fair. Like you start realizing it. Was it many multiple it. checks before you realized? Yeah, I it? didn't realize it till like I want to say going into second album, it was another five hundred thousand dollar check cut, and I was only gave ten. So how did you find out? Like, how did you know that you weren't getting all your money? <laughs> Word of mouth, certain people like certain yeah. key people. I ain't gonna really throw their name of out course. there, mm-hmm. but certain key people like now, nah, you know, uh, your second deal for five hundred. She gave me fifty to keep quiet. She gave you ten. I mean, she walked away with like four, uh, four forty. So did y'all ever have that? I mean, I know it was like a lot of internet stuff going back and forth and stuff in the streets. So if y'all, like he said, she said, like word of mouth, but like, did y'all ever get to come to a head, sit down and talk to each other about it? Nah, uh-uh. it wasn't It wasn't no talk because the money was already gone. And then on top of that, I wanted to get away. Okay. So I signed another agreement to let them have my first album, which was the other side it's of like the track. It's like to get out of it. Yeah, to get out the ordeal. It was okay. for my life. I couldn't come back and sue for my life in 10 years after my life. Oh my goodness. So that means I had to die. And then 10 years after I die, my kids can uh, try to see something that they did. Something from me. Yeah. So where are you at now with it? Have you? I mean, uh, everything probably uh, after the other side of the trap, I own 100% of it. Just the other side of the trap was my main Mm-hmm. album that had made the trap say hey i'm getting money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. copper chicken stuff like that my- man because you got you got some hits like your mm-hmm. your music your energy like what you put into it mm-hmm. i definitely feel like you deserve you know your flowers and you deserve more True. and i feel like often too like i don't know the whole situation mm-hmm. when it comes to y'all but like I think that it's you got you're so talented. Like even with that situation, I That's feel like I was can, looking at it. I was looking yeah. at it as I ain't tripping. Like I on can leave it first. behind. I, I ain't tripping. I can do more music as long mm-hmm. as I'm breathing, living. Mm-hmm. I can re remake hits. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But at the same time, not knowing without that major label behind me, my notoriety of people acknowledging when I'm finna drop mm-hmm. wasn't gonna be how it was when I was with Asylum Warner. Yeah. yeah. So is there anything that you, like, I know y'all weren't able to talk about it, mm-hmm. but is there anything that you regret, like how the situation was, because I remember at one point, you know, Walker jumped into it and he wanted to that defend gonna, his, he gonna defend, he gonna defend his mom. mom. He did and that's the right natural. thing. Yeah, yeah he correct. defended his mom. Mm-hmm. You know, he's trying to, he don't know everything that's going mm-hmm. on, but he sees what it's looking mm-hmm. like. So is there ever a point where y'all will be able to sit down and talk it out apologize to each other or I ain't really nothing to apologize about like i mean it is what it is money was stole uh you we can't retract it so i mean it's really like you go your way i go my way i ain't got no like i'm when i see you i don't want to shoot you okay you know what i'm saying but, but have you seen her have you run into her since then though mm, have i seen dip i have seen dip because I feel like y'all were all family. You yeah, know? we was. Like, and my loyalty was there. Like, and she until, even said, you know, you were Brit Squad. Like, yeah, you were the I one gave who, them that name. It yeah. was me who gave them Brit Squad. Like, But I didn't know the copyrighted or trade market because okay. I was still trying to work 30 20 time. Mm-hmm. The Tesco going to be right here. Uh, this is my childhood store from freaking <laughs> <laughs> childhood to down there right now. Like. Yeah. Oh, wow. This corner right here. This right here. This is the five way. If you ever heard me say the, the five, five way. way. Yeah, I, I have not heard people yeah. say that, but I know the, what this is. The this Texco and Boycrest, though. Yeah, I've heard this it. This is the five way. And we're going to get out and look at this because, I mean, obviously it's the Texco, but I yes, want to yes. feel like you today. I want to feel like OJ today. Yes, yes. <laughs> What's up, baby? Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. How you been doing? I'm been good. How you been? Tesco on Boulder Creek. Okay. Neighborhood store. 
still pull up right Bring now to the day. Oh, you still, oh, yeah. oh, you still coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they got okay. the food. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got the wings, the fries. I be getting the, the, uh, the fish meal with okay. the fries and whatnot. Okay. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> got gotcha. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir, Ski. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> all right, all right. Yep, it was the so, aisle, man. I'm a honey bun, you stay. know, I but I'm a diabetic now, so okay. I try to stay away from Diabetes. it, but I still, I still cheat. Type two, type, type one. one, type one. Yeah, I wow. stay three times a day. Ooh, what is that like? I mean, it is what it is. I've been dealing with it since so wait. You look healthy. I mean, I slim down. Yeah. For shit, sure, and the diabetes did do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I used to be waking up in uh, quarters like if I stick too much, and when my sugar go low, I break out in a sweat, looking like I'm. Fresh out the swimming Ooh, pool. We don't need yeah. that. So, <laughs> so take me to the aisle right now. If you go yeah. get a snack today, like what would I get? Yeah. I'm gonna get something like this. Some mambas. Yeah. Okay. The sticks though. Okay. And the then the gummies. Okay. <laughs> so you a candy person? Yeah. Oh, they got all cherry gum. I got to get him. <laughs> you what you want to get? Yes, sir. Um, Damn, I'm they got like a like all a... strawberry. Give me I'm a, I'm a get. I'm gonna get that and share yeah, with you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I'm gonna get, get me. my own thing too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm greedy. They're greedy. <laughs> but I got a snack at my house. I got like a snack counter. Oh, okay, okay. It's loaded with <laughs> all the shit, and I really be needing to go to Walmart because you know the store be super taxing no, for this. No, I know, shit. I know, like, because it's a convenience store. So it's like. Oh, so that's what my little brother said. Yeah. It's for your convenience. convenience. It's right here. But yo, that ain't go your convenience if you spend it down there double. Right. <laughs> but okay, I understand. Uh, what you, you got to eat? Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna go to the diet side. Y'all got way more okay. varieties because <laughs> you know you're a non-diabetic. Yes, I so am. So I be wishing Fanta would make. A More. diet Fanta. Or a diet, at least just give me two. I'll take a diet strawberry or a diet grape, but they don't make that for me. And I like So pineapple. I have to go my Mountain Dew, okay. and I see, you know, Mountain Dew usually have like the Baja Blast, but it's a zero sugar Baja Blast. Okay. So okay. by them not really looking out for the diabetic, I really have no variety. So I have to go to some shit like. The Gatorade Zero. Zero. Okay. Boom. With the right up my alley. So I'm gonna drink it with you today just because. You ain't gonna like it. I Bro, am. you gonna no, throw it away. Okay. Bro, you okay, give me the yellow one. The yellow one. This? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Or I'm gonna do it. Let me get you a regular. No, I'm gonna and do it. I'm gonna I be do... like you today. No, we, we bro, it's not gonna be good, bro. You're <laughs> okay, not gonna okay, like it, bro. Okay. <laughs> I swear you're not gonna like it. You're like, you gonna throw this shit away. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna be you today. All right, I'm telling you. What flavor you say, the green? Yeah. I'm gonna go great. Okay. You ain't gonna like it. All right, let's check I mean, I'm still gonna try it. Because if mm. I had to change my lifestyle today, I would have then to Then you it, would right? have to do it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I don't want you to what change it though. <laughs> uh, oh, you gotta get some chips. Yeah, gotta get some chips. I, I'm like the off-brand chip nigga. Me too. Yeah, I like I like, the, the, I like the Golden Flake cheese puffs. I love, go, I love uh, Golden Flake barbecue. Okay, and they out. They don't know they got it, huh? Them, they definitely don't get it. It looked like the but whole... But they got Tom's, too, though. I like Tom's. Tom's. But I guess Tom's I get having... me some jalapeno poppers. What am I going to get? I'm gonna they get... got some salt and vinegar. Nah. They ain't got my golden flake cheese for them. Let's see. I'm good with my, go my, my golden... Oh, nah, but why they strawberry, a... but they green? That's what I said. <laughs> so what about anything on this one? This is like Lay's, Ruffles, Fritos. Um, I'm more of a... Believe it or not, like I do popcorn. I love the popcorn. Yep. I just hate the. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you got this bit. That shit right. out. Cause you definitely gonna do that. It's, don't, it's gonna be it in your mouth. Your teeth. It's <laughs> gonna be in your mouth for sure. All right. Grab me one, dude. Oh yeah, gotta get a banana. Potassium. A, Potassium. So yeah. <laughs> Try to be. Oh these. Oh my God. Get we you one. Have these when we were get little. You one. We had these on a, a apple one. You treat me today? Yes, yes. Well, I appreciate it. Number some junk food. That's all. Right. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna be looking at this shit like these motherfuckers got number carbs. Right. <laughs> number carbs. Nineteen seventy to make it twenty even. Twenty down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wish Steve was in. Steve, I've been knowing Steve since he would look. He He's owned the store. It. Yeah. Oh. His mama is Mr. Cam and Mr. Cam. Oh, they okay. own the store and then when he got older, they gave the store to him. Let him run oh, the wow. store. Yeah. 
but I've been knowing Steve. You've been Steve, yeah, we've been. Uh, yeah, Steve probably either younger than me, or maybe one year older than me. Yeah, if that. I want to say Steve got to be two years younger than me. I know they think you, you look me. so young. I know they still think you like real yeah, young. <laughs> yeah, that's why they, when they be like, "Damn, what's up, Jew?" <laughs> yes, sir, Steve. I both want fun young and crazy for you. Oh, what you got? The regular fun young? Mm. And you got her to flame hot. Oh, he gave me. Oh yeah, that's my type of chip. I'm about to try it. Cause this is what you got to drink when you okay. every time. I'm about to try. Zero everything. I ain't gonna lie, it's all right. It's not bad. Like, cause I'm like. <laughs> Real bad, they're like, shit. <laughs> that no, motherfucking ass. No, it's not bad for real because think about it like, say if you froze a Gatorade, right? And it sit mm. in the freezer and then oh, it thaw it, out. It, it, yeah, it's it still like out. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what it reminds me of. True. So you got kids? Mm -hmm. Two little girls. Two little girls. Mm -hmm. 12 so, and 10. So. Did they grow up? Like, I mean, obviously, you, they're Nigeria. women, so, okay, no, okay. No. You made sure that you yeah. got them away. That's good. <laughs> so the schools over here are, like, low. Yeah. Even though they be good schools, but I guess if, when you go off the rate, the, the rating, the ratings are low in this area. Yeah, that's how my mom, she moved us out because mm -hmm. they want to be in AYP and, you no, know, you want that, the best mm -hmm. education, you know, if you can. Exactly. And their mom, are y'all still, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah? We've been together by like, what, 16 years? Wow, 15, are you going to propose? Uh, I, want, <laughs> I want to, but I don't know. I'm probably scared of marriage. But see, these apartments, so this gate is closed. Okay. This is the entryway right here to the left. Okay. But if it's closed, then I don't know how we're going to get in because it's so short. Of, of, oh, it's open. It's open. Oh, wow. just our luck. We were supposed to wow. pull up today. <laughs> so which way were you? Uh, to the right. And we're gonna go all the way to the back. We used to sit here at the mailboxes too. The hangout spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't got for sure. Bef this is before we went to the top of the apartments. We yeah. started here. Oh, wow. And it's still, I ain't been down here in so long, but they still look. Oh, but they got. The doors just don't open by themselves. Like you gotta have your fob. Yep, to get in. To you get into just, that building. You can't just put a key just, in it. Uh, and see the door back when we was here, the door just was open. You could just open the door and get it into the building. Yeah. But now, fourteen seven. Cause see, these are the townhouses. They upstairs, downstairs. Mm -hmm. These are four units in one building. Okay. So I stayed in the townhome. We didn't stay in these kind. Mm, okay. I know, I know, it's bringing back memories Man, right now. I know you say, like. <laughs> what did you say? See, there was the candy lady building well, right here. This is the candy lady, so that means you the can cut go up through, at, Where the cut through at? You can go up her house and get a pickle pig feet. The cut through. <laughs> pickle pig feet? Yeah, it's pink. But it's a pig foot, like yeah, a pig. But it's pink. It don't taste like the pig feet your mama cook. It's a pickle pig feet. So, so like a pickled egg. Yep. Uh huh. You gonna make a right round here? It's like, yo, like a pink pickle egg. It's a pink pickle pig feet. Wow, and it's still in vinegar. Yep, and the, the jar. Mm -hmm. And then you buy it, when you buy it, it come in the sandwich bag. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I seen them. I know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. but I don't. Man, you also yeah. you don't like them. I, I don't know. Oh, I haven't they tried good it. As fuck. <laughs> They're not playing with the speed bumps. Oh, no. Nah. See, we used to ride our, uh, we used to get the power wheels and then take ride the. Down the hill. Take the thing got the, because you know a power wheel won't go. Oh. It's like a little motor type thing inside mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. You got to remove it and then it, it'll go because it go off the pedal or the power wheel yeah. so it won't roll without the pedal. So oh, it's wow. a little thing we used to take out and you come down the hill doing Fast. a Honda. <laughs> now what, if you wreck into something, that's on you. But <laughs> well, we used to come down that thing. How many times you got to go to the doctor? Uh, the hospital. <laughs> it was only my buddy. See, I used to always know how to be a driver. Yeah. I've been driving since I was like eight, nine years old. Oh wow. Yeah. See, there was our apartment right here. We stayed the second, the second door. Wow, it's still fourteen seventy, bro. Yeah, and somebody crazy. live here too. Wow. That's insane. That's crazy. Memories. Wow, and the real, our real used to be broke. Like if you sit on it, 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 it you will fall because it, <laughs> they didn't weld it right. Yeah. But they got the welding right now. That's a whole different reel. Yeah. Wow. This, this is amazing. Like I mean, I feel like I'm going back to my old childhood home. Oh, still like, now, still. Me and my sister shared a room. How many bedrooms? Two. Two bedrooms. Yeah. Me okay. and my sister shared a room. 
Okay, so I saw where you hung out. That's crazy. I, you took me to your childhood home. Mm. You gotta take me one more place. Okay. While you reminisce, you can take your moment and reminisce. You okay. look like you just over here, like soaking uh, it in. Cause I ain't been out here so <laughs> long. I'm talking about, oh my God, my best friend, Renard, stay right there. Oh, we man. probably been best friends 30 years. So you gotta now, come back and buy the block. I wish, but see, at one point, the apartments was individually sold. Okay. Because they were like ran down, broke down, some had fire damage. So certain units was sold like 40,000. You could you used to get, get a unit back over here for like 20,000. This had to be like 20. So they're like independent, 20, but now. It's and like, then when the people who own it now, mm -hmm. they came and made all the individual owners mm -hmm. sell it back. It's so crazy how you know all about the structure and mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the everything that goes into the architecture. When we moved from Mount Paul, I moved here from second grade. From second, we stayed here from second grade to graduating McNair High School. Yes, where you graduated from? Supposedly, I dropped out in <laughs> okay. like the eleven. <laughs> okay, okay. It's crazy, man. <laughs> and see, Gucci, Gucci stayed up the long hill. Yeah. Yeah, Gucci stayed up the. Do so you and Gucci hill. are y'all still cool? Like. Yeah, we still cool, but I ain't talked to him probably about four years now. Wow. Why not? Like, Is it just distance or? Distance. Once he moved to Miami, and we kind of lost contact. Even though he called me to uh, do his like, I think he did a anniversary or something in Miami. I went down there and had a ball. Yeah. But it just Miami is ten hours. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. takes ten hours to drive down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't really like flying like a lot of places. I can't take a lot of stuff that I be needing with me. Yeah, so I drive a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I but understand. that ten hour drive gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, I got 20, family. I got 10 family from 10 West back. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. But you gotta, you gotta. I mean, once you a couple of stops, you get there, you mm -hmm. good. But you gotta stay at least four yeah, days. Yeah, at least. At ain't least. no turn around. Yeah, ain't definitely. If you go, take a vacation, then come back. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Damn, that's crazy. All right. So, mm. where you gonna take me next? Uh. <laughs> where will we? Let me see. We went to Tesco. We went to Sun Valley. Let's go to like one of my hanging areas up in East Atlanta. Okay. It's like uh, it's like Edgewood Avenue. Have okay. You? Okay. All right, where I'm gonna take you is we're gonna go into the set and feed in East Atlanta, man. We're gonna go crazy. They got like five, six restaurants in one. It's like and a it's, strip. It's a whole strip full of bars and restaurants. Oh, I can't wait to see. You best know, I love, I love a good bar. Six. Best <laughs> shit in the six. What's your favorite drink? Um, right now, I just started back drinking. Um, I was 15 years non drinking because oh, of the wow. diabetes. Uh huh, uh huh. But I had one of my people in, um, Google what liquor doesn't affect diabetic Diabetes. sugar uh -huh. it came back tequila right so and I'm they back do on, say tequila heals all wounds <laughs> I'm, I'm back on the don julio you know i was a, a strong don julio man like reposado mm -hmm. okay like when i did the song with r kelly uh did the don julio i was mm -hmm. yeah i was doing the, rapping about don julio i did the wasted i was rapping about don yeah julio. yeah you were you were you definitely were so, and it's yeah. back and it's in back, the gap it's you, back you know what i mean and then it so, goes away come back i wonder if uh what's something back in the day hypnotic and all that i wonder oh, if that's yeah, gonna see, come back i used to, <laughs> I used to mix hennessy and mo Whip. what oh you on demon time but now i hit mix Moet and tequila, but the okay. Hennessy and Moet. But the champagne, so I can't mix champagne with liquor because it like makes my stomach like. It got I the can't. bubble. Yeah, I can't take it. You can't don't know a lot. You gotta know how to. Splat. You gotta know how to mix it. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta make that for me one day. And then, I'm telling you, you gonna <laughs> love it. It's good as hell. The Hennessy and Moet make me throw up because I, at first, yeah. like you said, I was mixing too much Moet with yeah. the bubbly. Okay. That bubbly is what's making. You just need to splash that little extra. Yep. Okay. And see with the tequila and the bubbly, man, it's the best thing going. So one of the things that I noticed, um, you know, I was reading up on a few things, and then I came across the fact that, you know, I didn't know you were shot. Mm -hmm. You know, talk about that because I know to see you here today, mm -hmm. and you in such good spirits. You True. know, I feel like it. I don't know if it changed you, and I don't know, it did. but like, what was that change? I got shot like eight times. Ooh. In one incident, like um, one in one time, mm -hmm. like fifty cent. Mm -hmm. Um, I got shot on a Sunday. They put me out in the hospital Wednesday. I had a show that Friday. 
And it was on like 404 day or something like that. Like, like mm. they said it was like April something. I can't really remember. I know it was in the Carolinas. I did the show on crutches. Oh my God. I couldn't really move because it, it damaged the nerves in my right leg when they shot me. I got shot in the scrotum too. Oh my God. It went through and came out, went through the leg. And... But you seem normal now. Yeah, I had kids after I got shot too. Oh wow. You, yeah. God, God is on your side. Yeah. He spared you. I had kids after I got shot in the scrotum. But how has that moment changed your life though? Um value not rushing because i kind of rushed into the situation that's why i got shot okay uh, learn to grow grow patience uh, i really been chilling out i really i really have been chilling out yeah. i'm just not quick to jump off the porch no more yeah yeah you're so humble true you thank are you. very very humble thank you like, you're gonna make a left i'm trying to think have i been over here before and they got a tremendous I've been cookie. to I Lounge. I've been to I Lounge. They got a tremendous cookie store. Oh, Grant Central Pizza is the best pizza right now, right here. Oh, wow. Then some of your cookies. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I know. I had it, some of your cookies. Oh, my with God. With the ice cream. Best co- oh, yes. <laughs> you, you were in the right spot. The paint and silk. See, we used to be in front of the Glenwood right here that just closed. They got a police sign Okay. Up. That's the this Southern This is the Southern feed. feed with four or five different restaurants in one with a bar and a music little hall like they got oh, they wow. do karaoke um uh, open mic stuff like that the basement is an, uh, another genre, genre club oh look it's, it's like, it's, mixture. like a, it's like an underground type of thing uh-huh yep and see with the southern feet you can sit on the patio and it's eat it's kind of remind me of like five points or like a little five points or either edgewood mm-hmm. avenue edgewood yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we on Glenwood Avenue, <laughs> one of the hottest spots in Atlanta. We finna walk into the Southern Feed. They got five to six restaurants in one. They got a tremendous bar. <laughs> they got open mic, karaoke. You can come here and have a good time. You should you should be an owner. I'm Wait, telling you, I'm it. telling you. You, you, know, about... <laughs> <laughs> you need to talk to the owner. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> you did good yes, promo. Yes, <laughs> sir. So, uh, yeah, let me open the door. They got a waffle bar. They got all kind of stuff. Thank you, thank you. They got Woody's. Have you ever had a Woody's cheese steak? Never. Wow. So this spot is new. It was a taco spot, but oh, they wow. got good pizza. pizza. Okay. They got good pizza. Okay. Pizza spot, the your, waffle bar. Waffle bar is tremendous. What's your favorite one in here? Uh, I want to say all of them. Okay. want to say all of them. You want to get it? This is the... This is the slider spot. They got okay. hella good sliders. They got oxtail sliders. What? Oxtail sliders. Yep. Oh, you keep getting the menu. <laughs> Woody's cheese steak. Woody's cheese steak. Now, everybody has told me about Woody's cheese steak. I have never had one. Never had a Woody's. Never had a Woody's. You got Should it? Should I order one right now? When you get a Woody's, do you like banana peppers? Yes. Put banana peppers on your cheese steak. How long it take? They quick. They quick? They quick. All right, I'm ordering one right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually good. You go, what's up, baby? You, you actually gonna love them. Um, we wanna get a cheese steak. How you doing today? Hey, how are you? All right. How you want it? Um, so I want, I guess, what, steak, chicken, or what? You have both. You have both, so I do steak, mushrooms, onions, banana peppers. He told me I gotta get a banana Gotta get a banana pepper. <laughs> pepper. Got to. <laughs> That's it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, with the fries, you want fries? You know they got the potato wedges fries. Potato wedges. Yeah. Yes. The big I love yeah. Because I'm not a big fry person, but I'll eat the wedges. Wedges are good. Okay. What's up, brother? <laughs> hey, how you been? Nice seeing Where you, you been? man. Oh, I've been around, man. How you been? You've been, you been too busy getting famous. <laughs> <laughs> this my, my boy. This my boy. <laughs> Already. What's up, baby? What's up? Already. My goof ass. Yeah. Hey, hey, you yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're cool. Yeah. I'm just, she says, don't you grab that no. I, I got you. I ain't grabbing it. All right, so I got a Woody's. Woody's. Woody's cheese steak. Woody's cheese steak with banana peppers. I, I got it the OJ way. Yes, sir. Ski. He told me to try it. So my first ever Woody's cheese steak, courtesy of OJ the Juice Man. Yes, sir. This ski. is legendary. Yes, sir. Ski. 
right, I'm breaking. Let's see what he's doing, kid. Oh, I'm out watering. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Mm-hmm. Definitely a hit. I'm gonna say this for later. I gotta wrap this up. <laughs> I gotta eat this and take my time. <laughs> so now we get ready to move into our question with Coach. Well, okay. Basically, he gets to ask you any question in the world he wants to ask you. Okay. So if you could speak to your younger self, mm -hmm. what advice would you give him? Uh, <laughs> be a little more patient when, when your time coming. Don't rush into signing that paper with no lawyer. <laughs> Do everything correctly <laughs> this time around. And you know, you'll reap your benefits more this go around. If, it, if I was able to retract time and go in the time machine and redo it again, and right. as, as the question you asked yeah. for my younger self, redo it, yeah, I'd do it properly even though i was trying to do it properly back then i just had no guidance yeah you no didn't have that person me. in your corner mm -hmm. like looking over stuff with you yeah, you trusted all. family yeah and then it just you it know killed it killed you yeah so can you do me a favor mm -hmm. at some point mm -hmm. can y'all talk it out at some point are y'all able to sit down and because if she's denying it saying that that's not what happened and it didn't go that way okay. would you be open to at least just trying to understand or hear what happened. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm moving on, man. You're moving I ain't, on? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't finna go back and forth because you don't do nothing a lot, so I'm, okay. I'm, I'm just going on, on. You go your way, I go home. I understand that. Now let's get into the music because I know that's the music <laughs> is what you are. You the ad lib king. Yeah, definitely. I mean, first of all, how did you that's even crazy. come up with all your ad libs? Oh, man, that's great because. <laughs> When I first started with that, I was just doing okay, but I was doing it like slow. I called it my slow flow. That okay. Was my slow flow. Okay. But then in the midst of doing that with the okay, okay, hey, now I wasn't even doing the A's. I was just doing okay. <laughs> but then I needed something else to go with that. And then um, messing around in the studio and the A came out and then it was like damn that more kind of sound cool it's kind of high pitch <laughs> yeah but it, it sound it, it, it's, it's going sound with good. the record yeah. yeah and then after that i came up with the well damn <laughs> and then after that i did the yep um, and then it just that's crazy how it just came out of nowhere just being yourself just, just being in myself, there trying listening to make to the funny beat. sounds to make the beat sound, sound yeah sound hypey like every look Point where I'm doing the A's, I'm doing it at mm -hmm. like a bounce point. Yeah. But see, where we come from on our side, we we get in the dope bug cars and we in there and we whipping and we ride, we get to the red light, but the lane like this, but now mm -hmm. our car like this at the red light because we pulled up to the red light whipping yeah. as we listen to the music bouncing it. But yeah. Like, yeah. So I just try to make my music out for how we used to ride around listening mm -hmm. to other people. So what are you working on now? Like, do you are you gonna put out some more music? Like, are, yeah. are you putting out like, is it something that you got? Yeah, I got. I'm gonna do singles. I'm gonna okay. do like two, three singles first. Cause okay. I, you know, I'm used to just bitch take boom, there it is. Yeah. I never did a single run and single with video. I always do 16 songs, 15, 14 songs for a mixtape. Boom, mm -hmm. shoot the mixtape out. Come back down the line. Maybe don't even do a video for none of the mixtape. Mm -hmm. Like. So I realized now, yeah, I want to flood them with the music because I ain't dropped nothing since like 21, 22. I want to flood them with the music, but I also want to do it correctly this time. Okay. And okay. put out the single with the video, and then try another single with the video, then get and just, project. And just build your way mm -hmm. back. Because we, I want to see you on top. Like I want to see you overcome you everything Man, that you over... You I genuinely mean it. Thank you. I want to hear what you got now. Can I hear something? Like, can you got a, like something, a sneak preview or something? <laughs> I can do. I get I something exclusive? Do. I definitely Okay, do. what you uh, got? My new single I'm going to push is called Too Solid, produced by KC the Beat Monster. Uh, it's a good record. It's an energetic record for me as far as in a comeback mm -hmm. to make the trap say A style when I had that crunk record out. Well, let's hear it. Coach, put it on. Let's let's see what it's, what it sounds like. Jumping out the 
street nigga. I fuck with everybody. Hey. I'm a crash nigga. Hey. Boy, I'm too savage. Hey. If you owe me, nigga, hey. put it in my pocket. Yeah. R.P. Tate. Hey. Shoot out like a rock. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. <laughs> we ain't gonna get in the whole song. Yo, that is yo. crazy. That is crazy. That's a hit. Thank you. That's, that, that's a bang. I'm not just a saying whisper, that. A whisper song. Like, I'm to, you know what I'm saying? Bring that style back. Because back. Yeah. they ain't heard it in so many years. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I love it. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so can I? I, I ain't going to play. I promise I ain't going to leak it. <laughs> you can, can I? Do I can, okay, I'm, I, I need to know all the words yeah. by the time it comes to me. <laughs> yeah. That's all. So I can be like, yeah, I had that first. That's all. Yeah, no, nah, for real. No cap. Yeah, so what okay. are you looking forward to the next five years? What do you see yourself? Hopefully, being back. Uh, Notable artists in the music industry. Okay. That's what I hope for. And I really feel like you you there. It's just the marketing. Mm -hmm. It's the you got the credibility. Mm -hmm. You got the talent. Mm -hmm. It's literally just marketing, marketing and making the right connections. And Thank I feel you. like I see you everywhere. So you doing what you're supposed to do. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks to Ruben. Thanks to Ruben. Yeah. Yeah. Have you Shout out to Ruben back Righteous. there. <laughs> Look, Righteous. Ruben been hiding y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we appreciate y'all for tuning in to my very first episode of Black Truck Combos. I really appreciate you, OJ, for stopping by. Way, hey, what it do, us, man? Your boy everywhere. OJ the Juice, man. You already know it. Thank you, baby. I Thank you. appreciate it, man. Number love, man. Black Truck Combo, man. Black Truck Combo with Coach, man. Let's get it, man. We in the building, man. Jew man in the building. Let's go. Aye. Okay. <laughs>